That may have helped Postal just then. Yep, it did, because he would have got knocked out had that not happened. Take a look at the tail of the tape for Crawford against Postal at 140 pounds. And you see the age advantage of four years for Crawford. Introducing first, the reigning and defending, undefeated, WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World, Victor the Iceman Postal. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, from Omaha, Nebraska, USA, the reigning, defending, undefeated WBO light welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. This should be high-speed chess tonight. We'll see if we also get fire. A real boxing fan can't miss this. Round one begins. Crawford wearing magnificent looking gold gloves. Really moving lateral, which is not allowing Postal to throw no more than one punch at a time before he's getting counted. Tommy Hearns, the long, lean fighter with the big right hand and the good jab, was the aggressor. And Ray had to hurt him to the body. The referee didn't even say touch gloves. He wanted them to come out fighting, forget the glove touching. Yeah. He's the inexperienced pro fighter. But you don't want to give him confidence in a fight like this. You're no different than anybody else. A really good shot on Postal's chin yet. Not a lot of action so far, but a lot of tension. Body shot for Postal with the right hand. And that's how good a, a good fight between two classical boxers, or two classic boxers, usually unveils. Right hand to the body by Postal. With Crawford's quick feet, the fact that he can switch up orthodox southpaw. The fact that while you're trying to cut off the ring, he's getting the angle on you again to land his own punches. Stop, 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 stop. Postal hasn't faced a southpaw in the ring since 2013 in the fifth fight. See that? One post knockout is all he's looking for. Yeah. Good body shot by Crawford. Haven't made a mistake yet with an unbeaten fighter en route to 29 and 0. Good hook, by Crawford. And we've seen Postal countered early in fights with big shots that have hurt him. There's a left hand. It lands for Crawford. About his complacency in the last round, I, I do think that if Crawford were to close the show with a knockout, it would create even more momentum for his career at the moment. Quick right hands from Crawford. Stop, 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 stop. Postal landing some good shots here, and Crawford not fighting like a guy who's trying to milk the lead. Usually when he does that, he sees something that we don't really see, but he stays there because he's comfortable, and that's what he likes. A good body shot. Professional sports at this level, all professional sports, involves in adjustments. Right oh. hand by Postal. Crawford going in for a body shot and got caught upstairs. I wonder if there's a point at which we're going to stop calling him a conventional fighter and say, hey, Terrence Crawford's a southpaw. It's one of the reasons when you ask Crawford about how he's going to fight someone, he says, oh, you'd never know. You have to wait until you get in there with him. Helped to set him up for the shots that he took in the last round. Postal wants to come straight forward, and there he gets in a pretty good right hand. And Terrence Crawford is trained by two guys from Omaha who both had losing records in obscure professional careers. Um, he's becoming an attraction. He already is an attraction in Omaha, obviously. But he doing just as his corner suggested. Pop that straight jab. Keep him confused. Doing a terrific job out of southpaw stands against a tall southpaw. Crawford had had 140-pound fight against Tomas Delorme. He was probably already. Crawford smiling. I think he's whatever he wants to be. 
Look at that. He does both of them equally to me. Straight left hand. Beautiful feints. Well, he does them equally well. Very good. What's your favorite song? Smile. Oh, that's up. Wasn't Steve. always that friendly in the ring. Oh! oh. Up. Yeah. That's a knockdown. Knocked down. Knocked down by oh. Crawford. First time in his career that Victor Postol has been knocked out. Freddie Roach, perhaps engaging in psychological gamesmanship, as is so often the case, said earlier this week, yeah, we hope he switches southpaw. We want him to switch southpaw. Stop, 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 stop. They see Postol being a... Tony Weeks is the referee. Bad shot stop, by, stop, by stop. post on. As to what could happen in the fight, the one scenario I didn't see was war of nerves. And that's what it's been so far. <laughs> Good luck, I'm banned by Crawford. Crawford's CPU, his boxing CPU is... Very powerful, able to analyze and make adjustments. Now can Postal adjust to Crawford's adjustments. Crawford trying to counter Postal's jab. Postal reluctant to throw it right now. Another good body shot by Crawford. Yeah. Oh! Left hand by Crawford. Postal's in trouble again. Love touch the canvas. Knockdown number two. That may have helped Postal just then. Yep, it did. Because he would have got knocked out had that not happened. Two knockdowns in the round for Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford has the power, and Victor Postol doesn't have as good a chin. Well, it is like he's doing you while you're trying to set him up and get him to be still and throw a headshot. You're strictly head hunting. You're never going to slow stop. him down. Right now, he's making him look good. The foot movement and the herky-jerky timing and the southpaw stance and the whole thing. And he's just basically doing whatever he wants to do now, such as that. He switched southpaw 20 seconds into the fight and has stayed there. Oh, good shot. Good shot, man. Looking for another southpaw knockout. Figures out how to get to your chin, then boom, oh, no, there he no, no, goes. No, no, no. We once asked him in a fighter meeting, how are you confident that you can learn from two guys who had losing records? He said, listen, you got to understand this sport. Crawford need, I mean, uh, post I needed Dundee last round. You're blowing it, champ. You're blowing it. Smiling, laughing, sticking his tongue out at post all, holding the glove high. We want him to switch southpaw because that will set up Victor's straight right hand. And that's what I'm thinking, Jim, so we'll see what happens. Jabbing to the body is post all. Crawford fires back a jab to the body himself. Post all just looks so much bigger in there. Good hook by Crawford. Well, this is the high-speed chess I was referring to. Guys fainting. Both fighters looking for openings off the feints. Rabbit punch by Crawford. Like that. Hard left hand by Crawford. Postal tasted it. Wants to answer back immediately. Another left hand shot for Crawford. Because of how Postal jumps in, though, both guys have to really be careful of ahead, but... Quick right hand by Crawford, found Postal's chin, lands a couple of right hands, and lands a jab. And another right hand to the chest. So Postal is now making his length a factor in the fight. Uh, you can't, you can't two or three punches, okay. because he's not countering back. Okay. Okay. Now, we have to knock him out to win, okay? You know that. Okay. But now here. Terrence yeah. Crawford was favored in the Las Vegas Sportsbook by as much as 6-1. to one. Some thought those odds were too long. Cultural exchange going on in boxing, absolutely, with trainers and fighters all over the world. Good body shot by Crawford. Including with Postal and Freddie Roach. As you see on Harold Letterman's unofficial scorecard. Still a lot of time in the fight, but I um, wonder if Manny Pacquiao is watching. They didn't have a promoter. They didn't have anything to protect them. They were thrown to the wolves. They fought against better, more experienced guys. That's why they have those records, but they learned a lot. Here we go again. No, no, ain't no 13th round anymore. <laughs> stop, 
stop, stop, stop. It seems like he was probably the best 135 and maybe 140 pound. Because like Max said, it's a real chess, chess match right now. That's the closest thing to a trade we've had. And Boto gets the better of it both times. And now the attention shifts just a little bit. Body shot by Crawford. Getting aggressive again with a combination upstairs. Crawford is just such a magnificent fighter that he's taking control of the fight. You heard Terrence Crawford's trainers. Oh, this round is going to redeem the fight's entertainment value. One minute to go. And now Crawford chasing him. And Postal is hurting. And Crawford is a finisher. Postal gets close, tries to attack. You saw Crawford landing the hard counter shots. And Postal throws, seals out to one big bomb, and then he's done. He's off balance. Take it a step further, and we discussed it during the broadcast. When Crawford beat greatest Prescott. And now a penalty for Postal. This round, Roy. Yeah, but it's too late. It should be Postal flashed that a long time ago. <laughs> And when Postal lands something hard, boy, Crawford comes right, right, right back. Right Nice turn right Crawford here. Crawford moves and moves. Dancing from side to side. Ultimately humiliating Victor Postal. A brilliant performance from a brilliant fighter. And Postal kind of pats him on the back. Of the Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, we go to the scorecards. Guido Cavallari and Don Trella both scored at 118-107. Dave Moretti, 117-108. All to the winner by unanimous decision. Terrence Bud Hill!